Go ahead. All right. Hi, I'm John Griesbach with Diamond Age 2 all Welcome to Diamond U. Diamond U is created with a mission of educating our customers and team members to promote growth and understanding of our products and of our industry. Today we are going to go over the programming of a Patriot water softener. A few things to identify before we get started is first off we are programming the four button Patriot water softener. It has a next button, an up arrow, a down button, and a regeneration button. The second thing you need to identify before going further is the software version. This is located on the electronics board after removing the cover. This one is software version 520.1. If your software is lower than that number, please see our other YouTube videos. If your software is above, you're at the right place. Return the cover to its uh, proper position and let's get started. First, we'll go through the user displays. The user display that comes up when you plug it in is your time of day. To view the other user displays, go ahead and just press the next button. This will show you the gallons remaining. Press it again to view the current flow rate. Press it another time to see your gallons used. Press it again and you are returned to the time of day. Now we're ready to program our valve. To enter the configuration programming, press and hold the next and down arrow simultaneously. What comes up is softening. Now we need to press and hold the next and down button simultaneously again. We have now entered the valve size. This particular valve is a 1.25 inch valve. You can select from 1 inch all the way up through 2 inch. Be sure to identify the size of your valve before going further. To enter your program, just go ahead and press next. This takes us to a setting for pressure differential switch. We are not using that as a standard on our residential and commercial water softeners, so just go ahead and press next to enter past. The next option is where it asks you for an alternator. This is if you have a twin water softener. Again, this is for a single, so we are, do not have the twin option. We will leave the alt or alternator at off. Press next to advance. Now we are back to our user settings or our uh, standard display. We will now go into our system program. Press and hold that same next and down button. Simultaneously hold it in for about five seconds and it shows softening. This is where you have the option of selecting softening or filtering. Because it is a water softener, we will hit next to enter the next set point. This is where we select downflow or upflow brining. As a standard, you will be using the downflow brining. Hit next to enter and save. This is where we select post or pre-fill. This is in reference to when do we want to fill our brine tank with water. Do we want to fill it prior to regenerating or do we want to fill it after the regeneration is done? As a standard we again select post fill where it fills the brine tank after we are done regenerating. Press next to advance. This is cycle one, 10 minutes. This is our backwash cycle. 10 minutes is our standard setting for our backwash. To change any of these settings, you would just press either the up or down arrow. Because 10 is what we want, we hit next to advance. Now we have cycle two. It shows us 60 minutes and down. This is where when we select a down flow, it was referring to our brine draw cycle. Our cycle uh, for these systems is 60 minutes. Go ahead and press next to advance. Cycle three is our second backwash. As a standard, we don't use this function, so we set it either for off or in the cases where it won't allow you to shut off, set it for one. Hit next to advance. 
And this is our fast run cycle, cycle four. Eight minutes is what we will program for our cycle time for fast runs. Press next to advance. The fifth cycle is our refill cycle. What we select on the one inch, inch and a quarter, and inch and a half valve is we get to tell it how many pounds of regenerate, or regenerate we want to use. In this case, we have a 1.5 cubic foot water softener, so I'm going to be setting it at 15 pounds per regeneration. Please refer to your user manual to select your different brine uh, quantities. Press next to advance. This is where we set our capacity based on how much salt we're using. Because we are a one and a half cubic foot water softener using 15 pounds of salt, we are going to set our capacity at 38,000 grains. The display shows it as 38.0 times 1,000. Press next to advance. This is a setting where it says auto. This is where it calculates the, uh, the gallons you have remaining. Auto does it automatically for you. This is the recommended setting. What it will do is it will take your capacity, that 38,000 grains, divided by your hardness to give you your gallonage. Go ahead and press next to advance. Now we get to set uh, our operation. We can select from normal, on zero regeneration, normal and on zero, or just back to normal. Normal is at a preset time. For a single tank water softener, this is usually the desired uh, form of operation or form of regeneration due to the fact that uh, you don't want it going off while you're using water, if at all possible. So we're going to select normal. Hit next, and it asks you if you want the relay on or off. We're going to leave it at off because we are not using this function. Hit next, and you're back to your time of day. The last cycle that we, or last thing I want to show you is I want to show you the installation uh, programming. To enter the installer's programming, press the next and up arrow in simultaneously. This is where you get to select your water hardness. Water hardness, uh, where we're located, is 22 grains of hardness. This is going to be important. If you do not have a water test, stop here and get your water tested. Because to be efficient, to be accurate, you need to make sure this is set properly. Also check your iron, because if you have iron, it can also affect your capacity. We're going to select 22 and press next. Right here it's asking us for a regen day. If you want, you can select a day override to have the water softener regenerate no matter what after a set amount of days if you haven't used the capacity already. In this case, it's showing us every 14th day it would regenerate if it doesn't regenerate due to the current water usage. Typical setting for this is off. If you set it to off, it will only regenerate based on demand. Press next. And now we are asked, what time do you want it to regenerate? This is where you, as a homeowner or as an installer, can change the time that you want it to regenerate. As a default, we set it for 2 a.m. Press next. You go to the minutes. This is where you adjust the minutes. Press next again, and you are back to the current time of day. The only other setting that would need to be programmed when you're starting the system up is your current time of day. To do this, your down button is also your set clock button. Press and hold the set clock button. Your hours will start flashing. When your hours starts flashing, it means you can change it. Current time of day for me right now is 4.30. So, for change the hours, press next, takes you to the minutes. Change the minutes, press next, it's saved. Beyond this point, the only other thing you need to know 
is whatever item you select to view and leave it on, leave the display showing, is where it's going to remain. So whatever is most important to you, leave on display. Thank you again for viewing this YouTube video and please tune in in the future for any other videos uh, and updates from Diamond H2O.